Welcome to this Fruity Shoots tutorial, where we'll show you how to pack and load the Harrier Drone Parachute Launcher. We recommend having tape, a ruler, and a weight handy for this process. First, you'll want to set up the mini rigger jig. Take the base of the rigger and snap the ends along the perforated edges. If needed, you may use a sharp knife or scissors to cut along the perforations, being careful not to cut off the pieces entirely. Insert the rigging divider into the slot in the base, and fold the wings of the base over the ends of the divider. For ease of use, we recommend securing the rigging jig to your work surface with tape. Now we can prepare the parachute. Remove the tape from the shroud lines and unravel the shock cord. Run the shock cord through the bottom loop of the shroud lines by just a few inches. Take the other end of the shock cord, the one opposite to the shroud lines, and run it through the first loop until it's tightly secured. Look at the base of your Harrier launcher and identify the blue piece at the end of the servo arm. Ensure the servo arm is pointing to the 10 o'clock position, indicating that the launcher is ready to be loaded. If not, use a servo controller or the SATS Mini to electronically move the servo to the correct position. Use the loading cylinder to push down the launching piston until it clicks into place. Carefully unfold the canopy and take note of the three groups of lines, one connected to the interior crown and two connected to the exterior skirt. Place each group of lines into a separate section of the divider. Place the rigging lock bar over the lines and fold the lines back over the rigger towards the canopy. Place another lock bar on the side with the canopy and fold the lines back again. Fasten the clips over the openings of the divider to secure the lock bars. Measure the depth of the launching canister using a ruler. This will tell you how much space you have to fold your parachute. When folding the canopy, try to fold it at a shorter length than the allowed space. This will give you a little extra room for packing the shock cord. For the larger Harrier launcher, the protector blanket provided is a good estimate for the packing length. Fold the sides of the canopy in equal thirds. Then start Z-folding the canopy towards and away from the rigging jig to fit the measured length of the launching canister. Remove the clips and lock bars and remove the parachute from the rigger. Begin Z-folding the shroud lines on the canopy. Do not coil the lines as this will create wraps and increase the chances of the parachute tangling when ejected. Now we're going to wrap the protector blanket around the canopy. For the 40mm launcher, you can skip this step. Similar to a sleeping bag, tightly roll the canopy within the cloth and use three pieces of tape to keep it secure. For the 40mm launcher, roll up the canopy alone. Now Z fold the shock cord, leaving enough cord to peek out of the end of the canister.
Fit the canopy into the launcher, removing the tape as you go. It may help to twist in the direction of the roll before pushing the parachute all the way down. For the 40mm launcher, fit the parachute into the canister first. Run the end of the shock cord through the cap and begin Z-folding the cord, then push the cording into the top of the launcher. Now that the parachute is packed, fasten the cap. And that's it, you're done. Now you can mount the Harrier drone parachute launcher to your drone and fly with peace of mind.